Good morning. This is John Bramnick in the second episode of New Jersey Law with Assemblyman John Bramnick. Today, we are actually within the 21st District, which is our district, and we are in the Millenting section of Long Hill Township. We're at a place, a very special place, called the Raptor Trust. And we're going to find the mayor of Millington, and then we're going to have an opportunity to walk around the Raptor Trust and meet the creator of the Raptor Trust, Dr. Len Susie. Then we'll discuss some environmental issues that are affecting the state of New Jersey and our region. So I think uh, today we'll have a very exciting show. You'll meet not only people, but a lot of birds. Thank you. I was able to find Mayor George Vitterera, the mayor of Long Hill Township. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you the mayor of Long Hill Township, the Honorable George Vitterera. George, thanks for meeting with us today. Pleased to be here with you. You'd be welcome to our, our uh, township, Long Hill Township, the Millington section of Long Hill Township, and to uh, the Raptor Trust, uh, uh, a spectacular institution that has been. Uh, part of our uh, township, a focal point of our township uh, for many, many years. Uh, we're lucky to, to have them. Great to have you here. Uh, we're going to meet Len Susie now. Len, of course, is the creator and, I guess, president of the Raptor Trust. So we're going to walk with the mayor down into the Raptor Trust. And if, if you want to come up to the Raptor Trust, uh, George will tell you how to get here and, uh, you know, other things uh, you may want to do up in Long Hill Township at the Great Swamp. So we're going to walk and meet Dr. Len, okay? Well, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, our township, John. Uh, right now we're in the Millington section of our Long Hill. Uh, Long Hill is made up of five different areas, Millington, Sterling, Gillette, Myersville, uh, and Homestead Park. Uh, and each has uh, a distinct character that make them uh, interesting and unique. Uh, and in Millington, one of the most interesting things uh, about our uh, this section is the Raptor Trust. Uh, I mean, I've been bringing my kids here uh, as, as all of our families have and many people from the surrounding townships uh, because it's a great institution. Um, you and know, this is private, correct? This is not uh, a state or county park, that's correct? That's right, that's right. It's, it's funded through um, uh, the help, the support from the citizens and uh, uh, I, I urge people to come down here uh, and see because it's a, it's a beautiful uh, setting, you know, and it's a wonderful cause, um, you know, protecting and, and caring for the wild birds, um, I think nationwide. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of uh, other places send birds for re rehabilitation to this institution. So uh, it's a, a beautiful uh, thing that they do uh, and service that they provide. We appreciate you being up here today, and uh, we're going to have an opportunity to meet Dr. Len Susie. So, uh, actually, here he is at the Raptor Trust, the CEO, creator, and savior, actually, of many birds. Good morning, Thanks for joining us today. Mr. Mayor. You. Good to see you. My pleasure. Welcome we're, to the Raptor Trust. We're going to turn the microphone over to you so the people at home can learn about the Raptor Trust, which is within a short driving distance of all the towns in the, in the 21st district. Exactly. So we're going to let you take over because everyone knows you're a creative, exciting individual, and they won't be bored at home when Len Susie takes over. <laughs> Dr. Len Susie. <laughs> Thank you, John. I moved here to this property. My wife and I bought 14 acres and the house we still live in in 1968. So we've been here a long time. I've been an environmentalist all my life. I'm an ornithologist and my love, of course, in nature are the birds. And particular group of birds, I'm enthralled with the raptors. Um, when we first moved here, birds of prey were not even protected by law. They were not protected by state law or federal law. You could kill them, you could poison them, you could shoot them. They were viewed as vermin 
in the ecological dark ages in the 50s and 60s. So we lobbied as an advocate for birds of prey. We built this center little by little over the four decades we've been here to try and help some of the injured birds uh, that had been shot, been hit by cars, whatever, not all malicious injuries. But uh, since we've been here, we've doctored 85,000 wild birds, quite, quite a few. Amazing. Amazing. And, and half of them are back, more than half are back in nature, or have been turned back. Oh. Uh, well, well, you can tell everybody at home that we're here in airplane, <laughs> but fortunately, based on work, people in Morris County, yeah, we the saved Great the... Swamp would have been an airport, but for exactly. some very special people up Exactly here. true. Um, yeah, there, there was a big fight going on in the early 60s, mid-60s, uh, to make this swamp, this 10,000 acre uh, swamp, which is now primarily a refuge. They wanted to make it a third New York jet port. And one of the runways would be where we're standing, I'm sure, <laughs> going through my home. But that was a grassroots op uh, op opposition that came to the front and uh, beat the powers that be. Well, we're happy. We have, we're happy you won that fight because otherwise we wouldn't have this raptor trust in the great work that you do. And, and Long Hill Township probably wouldn't exist. <laughs> that's that's probably too. Also, George, yeah. the third right. runway. Right? Exactly, yeah. overflow parking down by Town Hall. So are you going to show us? A, yeah, we'll show you some of what we do. Mm -hmm. We've got a bunch of injured birds that we keep here for education. Part of which you saw one of one of you which you saw in the education center with Donna Pandolfino, one of our teachers. We have two full-time educators. I have seven full-time staff people, people, caregivers, uh, maintenance man, and you know such. But um, the raptors here that you will see in the cages, in the open cages that we can see in film, and are, and are viewable by 50,000 people a year come here, um, they are all injured. The birds that we're rehabilitating. And we have a veterinarian, and I've learned some skills in veterinary medicine. Those birds are not on public display. They're kind of sequestered in the back 40, so we don't get them tame or used to or habituated with people. We want them to be wild when we release them. So we can see there's about 100 hawks, eagles, owls, and falcons that live here that I cannot return to the wild. And we can take a walk down the That'd path and, and see, see a bunch of them. So what are we going to take a look at first? Well, let's see. There are several birds, some of them not so terribly visible because they're owls and they're primarily nocturnal. Well, actually, we can see. There's a short-eared owl sitting there. We can get a close-up of that one. That's an endangered species in New Jersey, primarily because of the loss of habitat over the last 50 years. It's a swamp owl, and the meadowlands and the swamps in New Jersey in general have been compromised. Now, based on your experience, have you seen a change with respect to the loss of habitat? Has that stopped, reversed itself, increased? What's, what's your view of that? Well, I think my view is that there's too many people on this earth. That's, that's the first problem. And I think every other problem radiates from that. Has there been any change just in the, in the culture of people having more respect for habitat, for raptors, and for the environment based on you being in the Great Swamp? Well, I think here we have a skewed view, quite honestly, of the people that come here are usually pro-raptor, pro-environment, pro-open space. But uh, over the course of my life, uh, much of the land that I knew as a kid, as wild areas, does not exist anymore. Uh, it's not a doomsday forecast. I'm just saying that we've got to get a handle on our own numbers and come to grips with some of the real problems and, and some real solutions in uh, the environment. And that Have you seen a change, though, in the numbers of either protected, wild, protected birds or raptors over the, year, over the last four to five years or ten years? No, there's been no, no new legislation to that I know of that's been uh, promulgated or enacted uh, to to uh, help raptors.